Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Life Science with Nivedita. So in this video, I will analyze case 2024 expected cutoff. Especially uh, this video is about life science subject. For remaining subjects, I provide link in the description which contains 2020 as well as 2021 uh, cutoff PDF. Okay, so now before going to this expected cutoff part, you people get to know the difference between uh, aggregate marks and also cutoff percentage. Because uh, once once KEA will release the cutoff for PDF, so there it contains both cutoff percentage as well as aggregate marks. So here usually people know that is both paper one and paper two, which consist of three hundred marks. That is two hundred subject and 100 general paper okay so for example out of 300 your score is 150 okay so here 150 is the scored marks 300 is the total marks into 100 which gives rise to 50 percentage so now this 50 percentage is cutoff percentage and this 150 is scored marks or cutoff marks Okay, PDF contains both cutoff marks and also cutoff percentage. This is aggregate marks, this is cutoff percentage. Okay, anyhow, uh, this cutoff is based on many uh, criteria that is, number of candidates appear, paper level, if paper is difficult, uh, easy, based on that also, cutoff will vary from year to year. Okay, so now uh, just have a look on this uh, cutoffs. This is 2018 cutoff, 2020 cutoff, 2021 cutoff. So here, uh, cutoff will vary based on the category. Uh, some reservations are there for uh, different categories. So based on the category also, cutoff will vary. So here, this, these are our uh, reservations. So for general merit, SC, SC, ST, category 1, 2A, 2B, 3A, 3B, uh, you know, cutoff marks will vary. So based on this, Three year cutoff marks. We will just uh, you know analyze the cutoff marks in the 2024. Okay, so you can see the general merit uh, 2018 152, 2020 which increased to 166. Maybe in 2020 question paper was easy. Okay, so in 2021 again 164. Based on these criteria, we we'll just analyze in 2024 for general merit, which is around 162 to 166. If if you are in general merit, if your marks uh, lies between 162 to 166, this is the safest marks. Okay. For SC, 142 to 146. And for ST, that is also 146 to 150. And for category 1, that is also 146 to 150. 150. Why I am carrying same marks? Because you can see in 2021, 152 2020 150 and for st also 152 category 1 also 152 sometimes marks 2 uh, 2 4 marks will vary sometimes 2 4 marks will less or more okay so for 2a uh, which lies that is from 144 to 148 and for 2b that is 144 to 148 and for 3a that is 152 156 and for sorry 3a and for 3b 152 to 156 if your marks lies in between these uh, cutoff marks you are in the safest part okay so usually for general merit and all other categories also if your marks lies between 160 to 170 if in other category, if your marks lies uh, be below 150 also, you will qualify based on the category. Or even 170 plus is the safest marks to qualify. That for general merit. Okay. For other categories, even though your marks is less than 160, there is a chance to qualify because based on the category, marks will vary. Okay. So this is how um, the cutoff uh, marks will release based on the category wise and all. So here, uh, once case it exam was done some several steps has to be followed means uh, after the examination after two to three weeks uh, they'll release tentative key answer after that they'll give some time for objections 
so after the objections they will revise the i know key answers and they release the final key answers after that they will release cut off after the cut off only they will release result okay this is how the steps uh, will follow in the further days so this is about uh, expected cut off analysis if you like this video hit the like button and share it to your friends and subscribe to my channel so that's it for today's video and thank you so much for watching